This is probably what I'm going to always remember um, Samuel L. Jackson for right here. You know, he's like, we're in a pool together. And oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's just like. <laughs> seen the Captain Marvel trailer yet, have you? No, I have not. Okay, so this is going to be your first time watching it. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. And you've seen it? Yes. Seen it a couple times? Okay, so... Uh, more like three or four. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to go ahead and view the trailer, and we will be back with said review. So, you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I'm not what you think I am. Yeah, so what did you think, Akeem? Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> when it first opened up, I was like, okay, so what year is this? Because Blockbuster was mm-hmm. there. I was like, what? I haven't seen one of those in, like, decades. <laughs> Unless they lived in Canada. <laughs> How much do you know about Captain Marvel? Uh, I'm trying to remember if she showed up in the uh, the X-Men animated series. Because I know yes. uh, I know, Rogue, that, yes. <laughs> Rogue, she got her powers from her or someone else? Yes. In X-Men, the animated series, she was actually going as Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're, you're pretty familiar with um, Captain Marvel, right? Uh, vaguely. Um, I'm about right there with Hakeem. Um, I know I'm used to, you know, the flip-flop between uh, having a male Captain Marvel and a female Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm good to see that we went with the female Right. Because, you know, it's kind of like Marvel's Wonder Woman. It gives me something nice to look at. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, I was uh, actually going to say, actually, I'm going to pull up here. I'm going to pull up the the Miss Marvel video. Um, but it's, it's going to pull up at some point. Uh, but yeah, bear with me, guys. I'm <laughs> trying to use OBS here for the first time uh, for one of these videos. But we can see Miss Marvel here, actually. Um, from the X Men the animated series, this is probably what you remember. Her yes, from, right. And how Rogue stole her powers and everything like that. Um, she actually probably not going to have that similar origin since you know they haven't been able to own the X Men until now, obviously. And then we got some things to talk about there too, but we'll get into <laughs> that. <laughs> but she, she's brash. She's she's bullheaded at times, but she also has trouble with her memory. Um, the more she uses her power, the more she, it affects her her memory. And I saw that in the trailer, like she was trying to think of like, oh, there's things that I I, I remember. I feel like I'm from here at times and stuff. Like, but there's not a lot that I I can really say. It's like I I, I, I can't put my finger on like why I don't I don't remember certain things. Or whatever. And I I kind of got the feel. Of what I felt was it's kind of like the female version of star lord it's like started on earth and then it's just like go to outer space and then that that's how everything starts well the the funny thing is is because <laughs> i know you said um you said two things you said female version of star lord female version of i'm sorry female version okay, <laughs> <laughs> but so you also said know. wonder woman the funny thing is like the first person i compare her to is supergirl they technically have the same name in a certain sense. Well, yeah. Carol Danvers. She's Carol Danvers, and Supergirl is Cara Danvers. So I'm just wow. like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're basically the same character for the most part. <laughs> this, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I don't know what's one of the last um, movie that you guys saw from the 90s, but this looks like it's from the 90s. Just, I mean, not the obviously not the uh, CGI and stuff like yeah. that, but just the overall look of everything that's happened. It's this like, looks it's like, like a 90s movie. Yeah, it's like, you know, you still see phone boots. Mm-hmm. You know, when I saw the blockbuster, I was like, please have a little Caesar somewhere yeah. in there. <laughs> they got the just the style. Because this right here, to me, um, this looks so much like Top Gun. <laughs> this yeah, looks was, just was, like yeah. Top Gun. I'm just like, man, this lens flare and all. Just like the way people are look, the way they've shot mm-hmm. everything, the mm-hmm. color grading. I'm just like, Man, you guys really... The aviator glasses. <laughs> Before we move on, mm-hmm. that is one thing I do enjoy 
is seeing that they finally bring in the scrolls yes. into the Marvel universe. Yes. I have been waiting on that for so long. Well, they didn't have the rights to them. Lost yeah. It, you know, yeah. But now, you know, that's one of those things like, okay, now this merger can happen. Okay, now we can use these things. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like it's it makes it work and everything yeah. like that. Because I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm I'm hoping so. I'm pretty sure that this person right here is a scroll. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would you, hope you know, so. I've been seeing so I, I've been seeing so many memes, and I'm like, are, are, are we really gonna see like elderly abuse? Please tell me that it's like a like they're on some mission, and they and it just happens that they you know shape shift into an old woman. I, it better be because <laughs> you got you, you got to know like okay like this is all right that's a scroll because if that's not a scroll and that's just an old lady everybody's gonna you know everyone on that bus is gonna be like just to have that disappearing look like mm. <laughs> and then next thing you know you're, you're, you're next thing you know you're gonna see so many petitions be like oh yep cat marvel it's got to go it's got to <laughs> exactly, go exactly man it's just like it, it's like that one it's like this is actually one dude's grandma's dude's like what the Man, <laughs> it's my grandma, man. What you doing? I mean, he's not gonna like jump and try to fight her because he don't want none of that. <laughs> but he's still gonna be like, "What the hell, man?" And it's gonna be like, mm. "But since you did mention Wonder Woman, uh, one of the things I wanted to ask is why do we feel like this is important for the MCU?" And you said you brought up Wonder Woman. That's one of the points I wanted to kind of hint on. Is would we have even had this movie? If it wasn't for Wonder Woman, I think we still would have had it because um, we're definitely in the time where it, uh, we're more open now to having strong female characters in movies, and, and it's not so much that, but lead character. Well, They're yeah. the central character yeah, yeah. of the movie and everything. Um, I, I, I would be inclined to think that we would, but I don't think we would have got it as quick. I don't think not not as quick as we as we got it and everything. Um, I know there was talks about having it, but now it looks like, you know, obviously they're they're they definitely push forward with it and everything. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to side with you. Like I don't think it would have came out as quick as it uh, did, and also, I'm I'm not sure she would have been a lead character for it. Like she may have been another supporting character, like Black Widow. Like I said, I'm I'm not certain that we would have had it so quickly. Um, I'm glad that we have it because this is definitely, like I said, it's ushering in a new era. Yeah. Then, so that we've seen because we you know we like I said we got Wonder Woman, but we've also got like I said we got Captain Marvel. We've got Alita, you know, like we've got movies that where women are now the central character and people are going to see this and they want to see it, and I think that's awesome. You know, so that's a good step and. If you really think about it, how many um, female-led Marvel movies are there? MCU movies. Captain Marvel. (laughs) First one. (laughs) This is their first one. Now, they have a female-led TV show. It was uh, Jessica Jones. Yeah. But this is their first, like, cinematic, like, female-led. I mean, we literally had the first black um, person-led MCU movie last year. With um, Black, well, this year, Black Panther, yeah. in February. So like, leaps and bounds, man. I'm just like, okay, this this is this is really good. This is important for you because now you have oh, yeah, these like characters. And, and I like how like Marvel is just breaking down the barriers, like and and. and it, it's like one thing, like you know, to break down the barriers, and the movie sucks. Then it's just like it ruins it. But with Marvel, it's just like, like Black Panther, mm-hmm. like loved every bit of it, mm-hmm. from the start to the finish. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm thinking that it's gonna be the same way with Captain Marvel. Since you said like, okay, we don't have a lot left with Marvel. Could this be, you know, beginning of the end? To beginning of like, okay, we've got Infinity War Part 2. Yeah, we do have Spider-Man 2 coming out. They have this streaming service. Like, Disney has a streaming service for Marvel and stuff right now. But is this the beginning of the end for the cinematic universe? Are we finally saying like, okay, we've got this movie coming out. We've given you guys so much. We've got some contracts expiring and stuff like that. Let's take a step back. Let's start slowing down and eventually just kind of... We'll still do our thing every now and again, but this is kind of it. This is kind of like we're playing the end game here. What, uh, I, I, what do you think about that? If it's true, um, I don't want to face that fact because I, I grew up, you know, a Harry Potter fan, and mm-hmm. 
you know, read all the books, mm-hmm. saw all the movies, and then when that last movie hit, knowing that there wasn't any I mean, of course, you know, they've expanded the Harry Potter universe, but mm-hmm. it's not Harry Potter versus Voldemort. It's, right, right. You know, it's the stories that were told within Harry Potter. So it's like you still kind of get the feel. You st- still get the, you know, wizard and witches and the magic. Right, But it's right. just not Harry Potter. So when Harry Potter ended, it's like I felt like a little piece of my childhood died at the time. Mm-hmm. So it's just like even if it is like I'm I'm glad that you know I was there to experience it. Like I haven't missed a Marvel movie in theaters yet. Mm-hmm. Um, been there since day one. You're better than with, me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a few that I've missed. So. Uh, I mean, I even stuck around with you know Iron Man three, but that's story for a different day. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just you know it's just, it's just gonna be you know sad, but at the same time, like I can say. I remember seeing those in theaters because, you know, I've grown up with, you know, people were like, oh, yeah, I remember going and seeing the first Star Wars movie in theaters. And it's just like, I was just like, man, like, I want to be like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to have, like, a good series where I can be like, I remember seeing those in theaters. And, and, and this is pretty much it because even though, like, with Star Wars, they're all good in their own regard. They're not all great movies, but the first three, I'm talking about the first trilogy, obviously, like, they're not all great. I would say probably I don't know how you feel about. It. I I really feel like the third one is really the weakest of the of the trilogy. So they're not all great, but at the same time, it's like so this was this was an event. Like this was a a, an, a a true event to like to be able to go see. And I personally feel like this is the way to go out on top. Don't don't start you know overdoing it, oversaturating and stuff like that. And to a certain degree, they kind of are, but. Don't do it to the point where, like, all right, people do not want to go see these movies anymore. Now, they have been heading down that road. Like I said, that's a, that's a discussion I'm going to get into later. They are heading down that road. But I feel like this is the way to go out on top. What do you think about that? Yeah, same same idea here. Like, it's a, it's, it's a good plan to just to, to end it all, you know, with this here. Because if, you know, start to feel like, all right, we, we let's do this project and let's do this other project. And you, oh, we're gonna have another one right here. And mm-hmm. also, let's not forget the one that we got, you know, in our back pocket. Mm-hmm. It's gonna it's just too much work. Try to get it out there, and it's gonna be crap. Really. Yeah, and also we gotta remember, like your actors are not immortal, like the the, uh, the comic book characters yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson doesn't even want to be known as Nick Fury all his life and stuff like that. Um, even though, like, the Ultimate Comics technically made him Nick Fury. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you know he doesn't want to be known as I get it he doesn't want to be known as um, I'm I'm am still always gonna know him as uh, snakes on a plane. <laughs> I mean that. <laughs> um, I mean if 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 I ever make Samuel L. Jackson in life and he's not dropping the f bomb like I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> That's just me. Have you ever seen like behind the scenes stuff of of uh, of, uh, of Samuel L. Jackson? I have not. <laughs> you haven't seen any behind the scenes stuff of Samuel L. Jackson. He curses about just as much. He curses just as much. See, this is what this is probably what I'm going to always remember um, Samuel L. Jackson for right here is from um, Deep Blue Sea. Even though I've seen him in other things and stuff like that, this is probably what I'm always going to remember him for. <laughs> oh man, I did. I forgot he was in this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't forget this. I mean, like this kind of hard not to and everything. He's just like. You know, he's like, we need to pull together. And oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's just like. <laughs> I feel like this is the time for Marvel to just kind of be like, all right, we're uh, we're, we're kind of slowing down here. Um, we've hit our peak. I don't see them hitting a peak beyond uh, Infinity War. I don't, and dare I say it, I don't even think the second Infinity War movie is going to be as good as the first one. I don't think so either because uh, if you've if you've listened to like commentary on the directors and you know the producers, it's mm-hmm. like it's like they knew that Infinity War was their goal, mm-hmm. and it was just like and it, and it's just amazing to see how you know it took ten years to write this amazing story. Yeah, some of the mo- some of the movies weren't the greatest. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they led up to like this amazing movie, like I love Infinity Wars. Like I probably watch Infinity Wars like once every two weeks. Oh wow! Like I, I mean, I just love the movie. <laughs> yeah. And Thanos has been one of my favorite Ultimate Bad Guys. And just just to see that you know the Infinity Stones brought to you know to the big screen, like mm-hmm. I'm just like I'm in love. Like 
Yeah, like, yeah, I, I hate, you know, at, you know, spoiler alert for the ones that haven't seen Infinity Wars, and if you haven't seen it by this point, you you just need to, yeah. like, go watch it now. You, if you haven't seen it by this point, you're really not going to watch it, I don't think. So, <laughs> if you really I, have, because it's already out on yeah. digital and home release and stuff. But, you know, just seeing some of my favorite characters growing up die, like, you know, just, like, wither away, and I'm like, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. It, it, it still was it was still great and just the fact that you know the directors and producers were like yeah this is what we've been writing for 10 years this is what we've been building like like I mean it'd be sad to see this end but I would rather see it end on a good note and yes. like you said instead of seeing it getting burned out I call it like it is the MCU is making a lot of money yeah you know, the, regardless of whether their movies are great or average they're making bank on all these movies you know, um, as long as it's got that Marvel brand on it, people are going to go see it and everything. So I would not blame them if they kept going, you know, and they kept pushing these movies out and stuff like that. But I think now I'm like, this is the time. Like, this is it. I think I this think because <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm I've got the mixed emotions like, yes, I want to see more of like my favorite characters. Like I want to see like a fantastic four done right Mm -hmm. per se not like a movie about them Mm -hmm. but maybe like as they were a side piece Mm -hmm. and then you know (laughs) 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 he's like oh x-men available no hang on let me me call it a fantastic four (laughs) 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 but you know just kind of like kind of like just have everybody in the same room like that that would make me happy like yeah. i just want to see everybody in the same room once on the big screen and be like all right cool and and i would like that to a certain degree but your two real big events are out of the way already yeah which are civil war and, and infinity Infinity Wars. Wars. Like yeah. two end events that would really bring all these characters together though they're already done so even if you were to bring them all in, what do you do with them? You know, at this point, you know, like you got Galactus. How how much different is that going to be from say, you know, because Galactus is you can't really bring Galactus to Thanos's level. You know, like Thanos, he has some sort of reason and stuff to him. You can't really bring a world eater to that level of just of of. He, I, would, I would dare say, like, even though, like, Thanos is obviously murderous and everything, he was human to a certain degree. He had yeah. his logic, and he was like, hey, this is this is what I believe. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, he was human to a certain, humanized to a certain degree in the movie and everything. You can't do that with Galactus. So mm-hmm. what really makes him any different from Galactus from the, the, the other Fantastic Four, or, I mean, other than being a cloud-based villain, <laughs> or, you know, even, like, Steppenwolf, you know, like... He's just there. He's a he's bad. Okay, he's going to eat the world. We have to stop him. What do you really do there? Yeah, <laughs> you know. So how how different is he? You know, how different is he from? He can't even like. You could probably put him on an Ultron level, but could I mean could you really? Because he's so big. You know, I'm like, what can you really do? What changes him from? What makes him so different from Apocalypse from X Men Apocalypse and stuff like that? So I'm like, what can you really do beyond this? Like, yeah, you get all these people together, but what you gonna do with them? Yeah, you know, unless, I mean, if they are sitting around in the living room just talking, like, what was it? Uh, was it how it should have ended? Where they always have like Batman, yeah. Superman, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Heroes and stuff. Well, I, I'd watch that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> just chilling, chilling out, like talking about stuff. I, I'd probably watch that. I ain't gonna lie, but. <laughs> Other than that, what can you do with them, you know? I mean, yeah, they can fight these big bads. But...